Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into how to force restart your iPhone. This is a handy troubleshooting technique, so let's get right into it. A force restart can be incredibly useful if your iPhone is lagging, frozen, or not turning on. Think of it as quickly disconnecting and reconnecting the battery. However, it's important to use this method only when necessary. While Apple's safeguards make data corruption unlikely, it's still a remote possibility. So let's get started with the method for iPhone 8, 10, and newer models. This method also includes the iPhone SE second generation and third generation. So if you have one of these models, here's what you have to do. Press and quickly release the volume up, press and quickly release the volume down, and then press and hold the side button. So it's press, press, and press and hold. Most people let this side button go too quickly and you don't actually do a force reset. I'm gonna let this run the full amount of time it takes so you can see how long it actually takes to do the force restart. Once you see that Apple logo, you can let go. As you can see, it's a little bit time consuming, but your phone is rebooting. There you go, that's it for this model. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users, the process is unique to these models. Fun fact, from the iPhone 7 onwards, the home button on here is not actually a button, but rather a sensor. To force restart, press and hold both the volume down and the sleep wake button at the same time. So here we go, both at the same time. Here goes the shut off, and then we'll just have to wait for the Apple logo to come back on, and then we can release the buttons. As you can see, it takes a while. Lastly, for iPhone 6S and older models, including the first generation iPhone SE, here's what you have to do. You'll press and hold both the sleep wake button and the home button together at the same time. Until we see that shut off and have the Apple logo reappear. There we go, we can release the buttons. Once again, it takes a little bit of time. And I'm not slowing any of these downs just so you can see how long it actually takes. There you go. That's all for today's guide on force restarting your iPhone. Remember, this is a useful trick for those rare occasions when your iPhone isn't responding. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to help me reach my first thousand subscribers. Stay tuned for more simple iPhone guides. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.